source what i am considering source i am considering let us take candle is there or candle or or else you can consider sun also you can take some source okay from the source From the source, what we are getting? I am getting the light. Okay. Next one. Rules for ray diagrams. R U L E S. Rules for ray diagrams. Rules for ray diagrams. What are the rules are there for ray diagrams? So, from the source, which type of phrase we can get? We uh, we can get different different types of phrase. That may be parallel rays. That may be inclined rays. Suppose before this, I will tell one analogy here. So, from the source, what we can get? The rays are coming parallel. What we can say this is parallel rays. Okay. Sometimes the rays are coming and reaching at one point. Next, Th third one is next. The rays are going in different directions. This is the parallel rays or beam of rays. This is they are all coming and reaching at one point. That's why we are calling the convergent. Coming to one point, coming to this point. That's why we are calling this is the convergent. Okay, this. See, they started at this point. They are going in different di direction. That's why we are calling this is the divergent. This is parallel rays. This is convergent rays. Next, this is divergent rays. These are all three types of rays. How the rays are coming? Okay. Now I am considering concave mirror. How the image is forming on the concave mirror okay the concave mirror is center point pole line is passing through this then we are calling this is principal axis midpoint is there focus center of curvature pole in front of this mirror i am considering object that may be candle that may be light that may be sunlight something else from that i am considering rays so we can cons in general we can say there are three types of rays we can consider r1 ray r2 ray and r3 ray why i have taken here r1 r2 and r3 means see in the ray itself is there r that's why ray 1 next ray 2 next ray 3 okay ray what is the characteristics of ray 1 ray 1 means you have to take the parallel ray this is r1 okay light light source is there from that you are considering one ray that is coming and that is striking on the mirror okay this ray is r1 ray is parallel to the principal axis okay anyway it is nice only the ray is coming and it is striking on the mirror after that is there any chance to go outside is there any chance there is no chance to go outside why outside is coated due to that it has to come back Okay, the parallel ray, when we can say parallel ray, the principal axis, with respect to principal axis, the ray is parallel. After striking on the mirror, definitely it pass through the focus. This is the first rule for R1. R1 always, if you take parallel ray, parallel to what principal axis? After striking on the mirror, definitely it pass through the focus. This is the R1 characteristics. Next, now we will see next one, R2. <coughs> okay, see, first I consider, what I consider? Initially I said, okay, from the source we are getting uh, straight, li straight lines, inclined rays. Okay, sometimes we may get inclined rays. Now I am considering inclined ray. This inclined ray, what we can say, R2. Previously I consider parallel ray, now I consider the Inclined ray. Okay. The R2 ray is 
definitely pass through the focus and striking on the mirror or touches the mirror here also this auto also there is no chance to go outside after striking on the mirror definitely it has to go back this is the auto so when it is going back definitely this ray is parallel to the principal axis next r3 last one is r3 okay sometimes the ray may pass through the center of curvature center of curvature so if it, can we call this is ray no we should not call this is ray if arrow mark is there then only we can call this is the ray okay after striking after passing through the center of curvature again it has to go back this is the r3 r1 r2 r3 now i am showing all these three in one diagram only let us see this is the first one what happened after passing definitely it passed through the focus next one let us take r2 what happened this is passed through the focus next one what we can take simply we can take this is r1 next this is r2 next this is r3 now these all we are calling incident rays what we are calling this is incident this also incident this also incident okay incident this what we can call this is reflection ray reflection ray this also we are calling the reflection ray what are you calling this also reflection this is incident ray after striking also it is going in the same path these are the main rules for ray diagrams okay after that there is a very important thing will be there see already we have drawn normal line in the plane mirror similarly we have to draw here also normal line so here normal line how to draw the normal line how to draw normal line for spherical mirrors it's very difficult spherical mirrors so in the plane mirror simply we can take one perpendicular mirror where the incident ray is ending where the reflecting ray is starting at that point we can draw one normal line but here there is no chance to like that okay now i am showing only r1 similarly we can draw r2 also r3 also so how to draw normal line for spherical mirrors okay, okay. now i consider r1 ray it is passing through the focus this is r1 this is incident ray okay incident ray after striking on the mirror it is going back that's why we are calling this is the reflection ray reflection ray so now what i am going to do i have to draw normal line where this ray is ending and where this ray is starting at that point you have to start with dotted lines towards the c this line we are calling normal line normal line okay all of you understood how to draw the normal line means simply you have to draw with dotted lines okay shall we see for next auto lines how to draw normal line no this is which one this is r2 ray okay. this is incident ray this is reflection ray okay. then here also same thing the normal line this here all of you listen one case is there here the normal line definitely pass through the center of curvature 